Hey guys, welcome to the official Portola YouTube channel. Today, we have a couple reminders. One is that on Monday, it's an A day, meaning we have periods one, three, and five. Thanks to all who participated in our Agario event and fun and games. The winners of the podcast intro and outro competition are Adam and Katie. Congratulations, and all the other entries looked amazing. And some of the events this week are the Winter Jeopardy Night on Monday, the Ornament Decorating Contest starts on Tuesday, and we have a fun and games on Wednesday. The quote of the week is, you're off to great places, today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way, by Dr. Seuss. Today, we are going to be asking some fellow students how they felt starting uh, when they first transitioned into middle school. I'm Angelina, and these are our guests. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Noam. So let's get to it. Um, how did you guys feel when you first like went to Partola and just like had all this new stuff that's not familiar to you? Uh, I think um, I think Portola was really good about just kind of like welcoming um, students. I think it kind of felt good that we had like a lot of assemblies and um, introductions. I think that made me feel a little bit better because I'm, I'm a very nervous person, especially when it comes to new things. But I think Portola did it really the right way by introducing us and having assemblies and everything. So I think that definitely helped. I also agree that Portola was extremely welcoming when you first came into there because they had all these introductions, like schoolwork was a little bit easy off so you can get regular to Portola, meet, like meet new friends, you had a lot of like areas to go to. It was really fun and like each class felt like the teachers were really caring that you were having a good, um, a good time and that you wouldn't be too nervous. Yeah, one thing good about like Portola is that for sixth graders, they don't have like different teachers for every period. It's like the first two periods are the same teacher and then like the last two, just like your academic classes. And for the most part, you're with like the same students, which is pretty helpful. So like they can help you if you forget which class you're supposed to go to, which happened to me like every single day of the first two months. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really happy that the schedule, I'm really happy that the schedule was clear because like if they just threw you in there and said, okay, go to this period, this period, this period without like show you before, like the fact that we got to go to Portola before we even actually went to Portola, I think that really helped and I've never seen a school do that before. And I yeah. really think like learning about your location, learning everywhere everyone is, like where everywhere is, who you're going to classes with and meeting your teachers. It's very weird to have more than just one teacher. I know some people are regular to it because they have like more than one teacher in fifth grade, but I feel like it was really easy to, to adapt to it because each teacher was more welcoming and helping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I think all the teachers, like, uh, I had all different teachers, so, um, but each one of them, you could definitely tell that they all cared, and they all really just kind of explained to us what was going on, and they all just took the time to kind of um, let us know that um, we don't have to be nervous. We know that this are, these are nervous times, but um, yeah, I'm just glad that all the teachers were very understanding. And for some reason, like kids, like when they go into middle school, they get really stressed about their grades, like at least just for me. But something that I found weird is with like, it's actually easier to get an A in middle school than to like get a four in elementary school. I don't know if your school did like the whole like one, yeah, two, definitely. three, four, like yeah. grading scale, but mm -hmm. like so much easier to get an everything, A. Than to everything get a was everything was mixed up in in elementary and i feel like the system the grading system for sixth grade and the portola and everything i feel like that was really good because then you could focus on one class i want to get a better grade at this class instead of saying i want to focus on this subject you could talk to a teacher instead of talking to your teacher that teaches you everything yeah I also think that the online right now, that most kids that might be coming in might be going online. I feel like the online was pretty easy to adapt 
to, and we're already in it, but basically it was not that hard. They give you a schedule, they let you meet your teachers in a Zoom call. And yeah, I feel like it's a bit uh, it's a bit hard to adapt to online instead of being like in person. I definitely feel like it was a quick adaption and it was also really good for new students to get regular too. Can I just say like the sixth graders this year who had to like transition online, that's that's pretty stressful. And I don't think any of us are sixth grade. No, I don't think so. So I just wanna say that even if you like transition through like online next year, then you should be fine because Fortola is doing a really good job of like organizing it on how to like get to your classes. They have seminars to go to like over Zoom, obviously for like safety yeah. so extra yeah. help which is good too yep. and another thing is they only have three periods a day i feel like that's going to be a bit annoying to go from three periods to six periods but i still feel like they make it feel like each class is more important instead of just having each class be like 20 minutes and i feel like that was a pretty good adaption And the new advisory periods that we have, like before, we wouldn't have like this time to learn about like SEL and like, you know, social emotional learning. And now we have these advisory periods where we can just like, and it's in small groups. So that's really nice to just have a time to like kind of relax during the school day. Yeah, I like how like the homeroom, it is obviously considered a class, but I still do feel like because of the homeroom being, um, being accessible and it's a small group so you don't have that many people to worry about talking and then you also have new works to, to learn about instead of like homeroom last year which it was just be with your friends you could still be with your friends but it's it's a lot better to learn something during times of break because it's still a break and but it's it's at the same time you're learning and I feel like that's a pretty good adaption and like all the teachers all the teachers um I think they learned it really well how to do it yeah, like you're still like engaged, even though it's like still homeroom, which I which I think is enjoyable, and especially that teachers kind of get to choose what you're gonna learn. So like for example, me and Angelina is all about social and emotional health, which I really enjoy talking about in our homeroom. Yeah, it's like it's also important topics too. It's not just it's not just uh, random topics. It's important topics that you should probably know about. Also, Portola does a really good job of making sure that their students are happy with the school. And we have a bunch of counselors. We have a college and career coach who is on this thing. We have a great, amazing principal, Miss Yu, who helps us out. We have some vice principals like Mr. Lee, who is also on this one. And the staff is just really amazing here at Portola. And I think any sixth graders coming in or anyone in general would really love coming here because it's that's amazing. <laughs> also, uh, yeah, I applaud the people who are working right now, like all the staff, the principal, everybody. It's it's a it's a lot of work, but they're doing it correctly. So if you have if you need help and your teacher's not responding to you, or you could even respond to your teacher, you could talk to your teacher. But then counselors, counselors are more like, all right, I need help with my grade, I need help with my uh, emotional health, I need something like that. They they work on a lot of different subjects, and I feel like that's extremely important for kids this age, as you need somebody to talk to and you don't have anybody to talk to, you can talk to the counselors and they are specialized in this. Yeah, I think it's really great. Um, you know, as uh, Portola, we're always, you know, taking information from students and saying, how could we make it better? I don't think we've ever, um, like, cause students, you know, um, will say something and want to give information like, oh, I don't completely agree on this. You know, students are somewhat struggling or something. and um, Portola staff will always find a way to get around it or make it better. And I think that's what's so great about Portola. And um, uh, we have so many um, Zooms, like if you need help with homework, um, if you like, you know, I'm saying if you need help with counseling, um, it, we're just very like open and understanding at Portola. Yeah, and you have a lot of people um, doing this work for you and it's, it's extremely important. Yeah, exactly what we said. So does anybody have any like closing thoughts for this video? 
Um, one of my closing thoughts is people who are coming in, I hope I, I wish you the best of luck. Um, welcome to Portola. Basically, um, it sounds very stressful to work online, but you're hoping that we will go back soon. But for now, online school is working out extremely well, and I'm really happy with the situation right now. And I'm not like stressed of when we come back. Um, I completely. Okay. You go, Lily. I would say uh, don't stress too much or don't put too much stress on yourself because as it is, these are already very stressful times. Um, just take a breather and remember that you have people around you. You have your family and you have um, Portola. So if you ever want to contact counselors or um, student staff, we're always here to help you out with anything. So yeah, don't stress out too much. Yeah. Yeah, just wanted to add on, just... Totally agree. Portola is a great place to go. It's a great school. And there's always people you can reach out to. You have counselors, you have staff, you have teachers, you have your like classmates and stuff. You have your family. So you shouldn't uh, stress about it too much and just try to get involved with your school. You're going to really enjoy it and be thankful for it in the future. So that's all for this week. For any questions, comments, or concerns, leave that in the comment section down below. Also leave in the comment section down below your answers to this week's quirky question. This week's quirky question is, oh my gosh, we're gonna add a quirky question. No, 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 no. <laughs> just, just so right now, um, don't pause it, just let's act like this never happened. We'll just go from there. We'll say like this quirky week question. That was actually really good. Okay, I'm just gonna like find some random quirky question right now. And turn our camera off. I'm pretty sure what? we are, so then, so then they could see, like, Angelina on focus. Because okay. Angelina's the only one talking right now. Okay, do you guys have any quirky questions? <laughs> um, what would you, wait, what, what, what do you think would be if you went back to school or something like that? Or, uh, it has to be, like, funny or something like that, right? Yeah. Like, something, um... I don't know. <laughs> What's the actual name for soccer? Soccer or football? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Uh, that's, that's okay. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm having I'm having Vietnamese flashbacks of um of, ta of tacos and and uh and uh, hot dogs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> for any questions, comments, or concerns, leave that in the comment section down below. Also leave in the comment section your answer to this week's quirky question. This week's quirky question is, what is the most useless word? Okay, see you next week. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.